on the practice squad originally, correct? Yeah, so, oh man, this was crazy. So I ended up getting drafted, um, going through OTAs, you know, or yeah, mini camp and then OTAs. I'm still learning too, because you got to remember, like I'm new to, I'm new to offense in a sense because I was defense all these years. And then I didn't play offense for about three years in between. And then I started my senior year at West Georgia playing both ways full time. So there's adjustments I'm still making and growing as an offensive player as far as like catching the ball, um, certain blocking techniques. Of course, the physicality was there is just fitting in understanding coverages, understanding uh, the fronts, defensive setups and everything and that nature. Uh, but I felt like, you know what I'm saying? I was doing my thing, doing my thing. And then boom, we get down to uh, roster time. You know what I'm saying? All the guys hesitant, seeing who going to get released, put on practice squad and all this. So uh, we had two kickers at the time. We had drafted a kicker, Harrison Bucker in the seventh round and uh we had a veteran kicker and was that graham gano yeah it was graham gano we were just in a pickle i guess i don't know what was going on upstairs i don't know what goes on upstairs you know what i mean but i don't make those decisions but going into week one there was two kickers on the roster and then i was kind of that all ball out and then I talked about it with my agent, you know what I mean? I felt I felt the type of way about it, but I'm one of those guys to where it's like, I still have the opportunity in front of me. You know what I'm saying? I sat down with my coaches, like it's not, it's nothing personal, you know what I'm saying? And I understood too, from their side, I'm still growing, I'm still learning. So those first two weeks of my rookie season, I was on P-Squad. Um, they had went out to San Fran and then the following week, I was still on P squad. And then the third week of the season, they elevated me and I was on active roster the rest of the time. Wait, hold on. I got to back up. So they chose two kickers. Oh, yeah, we had two kickers on the uh, roster. Yeah. And they chose to keep two kickers over a fullback, over you. But I mean, at that time too, you had Ed Dixon as well, who kind of filled that role That's fair. as an H back. And I mean, he was good at it. And he also, uh, I wouldn't even say he backed up Greg because we, we had a lot of 12 personnel, but he would go in for Greg Olson as well. And I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, and, and you said that you felt a certain kind of way, but you obviously got over that and matured right. and stuff like that. I mean, like yeah, like anybody hearing that would be like, well, it's, wait, what? It, it was tough, too, because I had just signed my lease at an apartment complex. Right. And uh, I remember this, too. I, I had got some, like, posters and pictures to hang up on the wall, got a TV and all that. And then I got that call, like, boom, I'm getting released. To this day, like, I don't like putting pictures up because it's a reminder never to settle in or never, right. you never feel too comfortable or too complacent. You know what I mean? And even with my life now, any of prop properties I have acquired over the years or since I've been in the league, I plan on using those as investment properties. And uh, it's, it's something me and my lady go back and forth about today, too. No, no, it's a good investment. Booming market, by the way. Everybody's looking for a place. Yeah, I'm um, trying to tell you. Wow, that's that's interesting and it's really i guess goes into like we don't know what nfl teams are thinking like they yeah. they have <laughs> and I, and i mean like maybe they're on to something because harrison bucker just signed a huge extension oh, yeah. he's like a, one of the best kickers in the nfl today so you know they're definitely on to something um but i mean you they were the, to they there were two really good kickers you know what i mean right uh graham gano and harrison buckter i mean it is what it is. Yeah, I'm, but it, it worked out. You know, you eventually go into the practice squad, and then, you know, they liked you enough to um, you know, keep you around. And whenever it was your time for your name to be called, you got called up. 